Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Houston Astros and the Kansas City Royals. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Danny Duffy gets the ball for the Royals in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, thanks, Matt. And Danny Duffy, you're looking at a small stick of dynamite here. Not a real big guy, about six foot, 185 pounds, but good life on his fastball. Sneaky quick, 94 to 96. Good hard slider, a true slider. His changeup is getting better. You'll know if Danny Duffy's off, is on early because he's right a fielder, swing and miss left-handed strikeout George. type pitcher. Here's George Springer, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. First pitch, 1 o'clock. The 1-0 home. That is fouled away. One ball and one strike. Very nice afternoon. High skies and 77 degrees at game time. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to 3 and 1 now. He's only four pitches in, but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. set. Here's the 3-1. Hit hard on the ground to short. Mondesi brings it in. And a good throw gets him. One gone. Now here's a look at that the Astros second. starting lineup. The Anybody catch baseman. your eye, Dan? Well, you really have to appreciate Altuve. what Jose Altuve brings to this team. He took home the Silver Slugger Award at second base in the American League last year. You look around and look at how much production they got out of those second basemen last year. That's a pretty special award to take home. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Career numbers against Danny Duffy. He has nine base hits in 19 tries. Here comes the first pitch. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Altuve absolutely feasts off of left-handed pitching. Many right-handed hitters do better against southpaws, of course, but he's about as good as it gets in the opposite-handed type of matchup. The 0-1. And this Off misses the, the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One and, one. and there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about That's Jerry awesome. Hillsdale. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. liner to center field Phillips is there two gone boy sometimes they third. say you hit it hard the good things will happen well that's not the case right Michael there that was Brantley. a bullet that just stayed up and is caught in the outfield Michael Brantley pulled high in the air out to right field. 
Right fielder has a beat on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Astros. And now the Royals get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. So striding in, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll lead things Way off go. here in the Florida bottom half Royals. of the first. The shortstop, Adalberto Mondesi. First offering on its way. Nope. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. The 1 0. Fouled away. Cole. Or the Cole train, as he's frequently called. He was a first round pick back in 2011. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. One and two, the count of the Royals shortstop. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Well, a chance now from the K to have a look at the starting nine for these Royals. Batting second. Mark, what's your take the on them against baseman. one of the best starters in the game? Matty, you focus on this lineup. The middle of the order jumps out at you because of the big power. But my focus today is on the table setters, the guys that set the tone. They have to be willing to work the count and find ways to get on base and create a little bit of havoc on the defense. Digging in, Whit Merrifield. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses for ball one. Now the 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this is going to find the gap as it heads for the waterfall and extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. When you drive the ball into the gap Batting like that, third. nothing but good the things can happen. Hitter. Neither one of Jorge. the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to Joel it. Lair. And he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. In is Jorge Soler. Pitch is high. The throw oh, no. is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. The 1-0 home. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And it's a defensive meltdown there as the go-ahead run scores on what should be a passed ball. 3-0 and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Pulls this one in the air out to left. There to pull it in is Brantley, and there are two gone now. Batting four, the third baseman, Hunter Dozier. Settling in now, Hunter Dozier, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1.
Ball. One and one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. In for strike two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Career numbers against Danny number Duffy. Two. He's gone two for Alex eight. Bregman. First pitch of the at bat. Squared that one up just a little late. A one count. Here's the pitch. And he oh, lays sorry, off for ball one. The one one. And he fouls this one off. Duffy, a six foot three inch left hander, he was selected in the third round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. But that'll be off the right field wall. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. That That's the it. perfect answer the after you've given up the lead 10. in the previous inning. Really Put the tying run on second Guriel. and get the momentum going back in your favor. Now we'll see if they can cash in. Now the Cuban import Yuli Guriel as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. Bregman stands at second with no outs. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball, one and one. The one one. Misses for the second yep, ball. Line to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Throw comes back into the infield as that tying run will hold up at third that with still it. nobody out. The designated hitter. Hey, this double has the makings four. of being a pretty big inning, D-Row. Lead-off double, now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up, you just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. And they're runners at the corners now. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Now the 0-2 pitch. 
pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Runners are at first and third with none out. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. The one-two is laid off for ball two. The two-two is swung on and missed strike three. So here's how the Kansas City Royals are positioned defensively. That, and I'd that, like to focus on Salvador Jordan. Perez, the man who dons the tools of ignorance behind the dish. He's a clubhouse leader. He's one of the best pitch framers in the game. He's like a soft blanket back there for this pitching staff. Here's Carlos Correa now. Career numbers against Danny Duffy. Just a two for 14 line. So advantage pitcher here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Owen won the count. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Goodness. Right. Owen 2 now. Correa, an imposing right handed figure at 6 foot 4 inches tall. He was selected in the first round during the first year player draft of 2012. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Well, there's the great equalizer, the, the change of El Cambio. Listen, Robinson. if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. So stepping in, Robinson Chirinos, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. One and one to Chirinos. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. One and one. Here it is. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Runners at the corners, two men out. Two and two, here it is. He stays alive, still two and two. He's set the 2-2. Two -two. Too high. Ball three. All right. 3-2 three count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Out of the stretch. The 3-2 three -two three. in. He got him. And exhale as he's out of the jam, and the inning is over. Two left for the Astros. It remains 1-0. Here's the catcher, Salvador Leading Perez. Up for the set Royals. to lead off the home the half catcher. of the second. Salvador Perez.
First offering on its way. In there for strike one, 0 and 1. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. A ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Popped him up. Chirinos moving to his left. One away. Time for a look at the that Strohs on D. No can we fielder. focus on George Alan. Springer, one of the more dynamic outfielders in our sport? He will leave his feet. He's got a cannon for an arm. Not afraid to dive in and say hi to the fans if a ball's going near there, too. Do not test this guy's arm. Into the box, Alex Gordon, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. A ball and two strikes to Alex Gordon. One out, nobody on. And a good job there to hold back as the count moves to two balls and two strikes now to the Kansas City left fielder. Here now the 2-2. Hit sharply but foul down the right side. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a liner. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Batting seven, the first baseman, number 66. So digging in now, Ryan O'Hearn. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lifted down the line in left. Brentley will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. We play two innings, it's one to nothing. Here's Jake Marisnik, and he'll start out their half of the third, for the Astros, top of the order to follow. The center fielder, number six, Jake Marisnik. Here's the first pitch to him. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. Ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Now the one and one pitch is outside nope, for a ball. There. Now the two one pitch waves and misses for strike number two. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. And the pitch. 
out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. And Gordon's there to take it in for the first down. The right fielder, number four, George Springer. Now at the plate, George Springer. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. And he takes ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. One one home just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Ready on one and two in tight with the slider two and two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. This is foul right side. Fouled off. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this AB right here. He's really making his pitcher grind for everything. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run, and he makes the catch in the corner. Now batting, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. So bases are empty here with two gone, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Here comes the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Pitch popped up. Should be enough room for Perez behind the plate. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. So next to the plate for the Royals, Leading number up for 11. The Royals, he stands in for the first the right time fielder, in this one. Number 11. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Knuckle what curve up. breaks outside for ball one. Zero. Swing and a miss for strike one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ball Can't two. find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he has some trouble with it. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first down of the inning. Batting ninth, 
the center fielder. Rex Bella. So the base is empty here with one away. And that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Mariznick is under it. Two down. Now batting. The shortstop, Adalberto Mondesi. So it's back to the top of the order now. And striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. Cole has his target. First pitch on the way. And a ball 1 0. With two outs, they're not playing him to bun here. And he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well, and he can definitely run. 2 0 now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Whit Merrifield would be next. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and missed three and two. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive. And a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. KC down in order, but they're on top one to nothing. Brantley, and they'll need the him to get something going Brantley. here. Michael Brantley. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No balls and a strike to count. One delivery that's popped up. Mondesi will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Ready for another chance. Alex Bregman, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Count one and oh. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's two and oh. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. the call on the change up there two and one love the pitch call there 2 0 -oh. you know the guy's geared up for a fastball and you drop a change up in the zone that's going to be a tough pitch to handle no runs two hits no errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point yeah. two and two Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. But one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. There's ball four. 
Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what 10. we saw right there. Really Pitchers the work around them and nibble really the corners up. a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Digging in now, Yuli Gurriel. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Here's the first pitch to him. There goes Bregman off a of first. Liner toward right center. And the hit and run works to perfection as it's into right for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Hey, that's a beautiful job of executing the hit and run right there. Pretty interesting. Must have known he was going to try and get over the heart of the plate right there with something either fastball or something off speed because he was coming unglued. Oh, oh. Stepping in now, number 44, as the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. Runners are at first and third, one away. Bonnie pops it up. Mondesi into shallow left. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The batter, number one, shortstop. Carlos Correa. So it's first and third with two away. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Here comes the first pitch. Popped up. And that is going to put an end to this one. And the Royals get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitch awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Royals jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Danny Duffy is the winning pitcher of record. Garrett Cole worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vasquez, and we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Kansas City Royals. One run on just one hit. No errors, and they left no runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 20 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.